family's involvement goes back four generations in terms of wine in Western Australia. It was my great-grandfather George Mann who came across to Western Australia to make wine for what was then a little company called Hortons. And his son Jack, Jack Mann, took over from his dad and really that's what started a great career for him. And many people in Western Australia and Australia, and in fact internationally, probably don't know the name Jack Mann, but many of them would certainly have enjoyed Horton's White Burgundy in their time. As a family, wine was just part of what we did every day. And of course it meant it was always on the table at night. And that's probably where my sister and I really developed a strong understanding of flavour and taste and genuine companionship between wine and food. So it was a couple of decades ago when my sister and I made the call and to start a small food operation at what was then a pretty little winery in the Swan Valley called Le Mans. It was very clear to me as our business grew that people were increasingly interested in the companionship of wine and food. They wanted more than just to order a bottle of wine and, and have something to eat. There was a genuine interest about the educative facts about how wine and food went together and it was clear that it was much more about that really simple guideline that many of us lived by for years, that it was sort of white wine and white meat, red wine and red meat. And there was an opportunity for people to go beyond that and dig a bit deeper. And so the idea of wine and food conversations, of, of putting wine and food together with some logic was where this program started and now it's become a real fundamental part of our business. Roasted pear, so crispy pastry, nice sweet roasted pear with a lovely, very tasty, intensely flavoured braised duck leg. When you braise, one of the things that is your reward, apart from really succulent, tender, unctuous meat, is the sauce. So the flavours of the lots of red wine and vegetables and garlic and herbs that you would put in with the meat, as well as the flavour from the meat, um, means that you end up with this most delicious sauce. The wine we're serving is our 2006 Margaret River Cabernet. It's got that real singly identifiable cool climate um, Cabernet aroma, which is that kind of green, berry, minty aroma that's very striking. Kate Lamont is a legend in the West Australian food and wine industry. She is one of those chefs who is truly outstanding and I would go so far as to say she's an institution. She's been around for 20 years and over the past 10 years I've been lucky enough to dine at three of her establishments. Lamont's in East Perth where she does the fine dining thing really, really well, taking fresh seasonal produce and putting it on the plate simply and elegantly. In Cottesloe at Lamont's Wine Bar, she takes wine and matches it with food and does a sensational job with one of the best wine lists I've ever come across. And down at Yelling Up, we have fresh seasonal produce once again, lakeside dining, simple and stunning. She is truly amazing. My latest book, uh, wine and food is really a culmination of all the things we've learned from doing wine and food conversations over the last five or six years. It's a little bit unusual for a recipe book in that it's done in chapters according to wine. So if you know in advance that you're going to have a special bottle of Chardonnay or perhaps compare a couple of Cabernets, one from Coonawarra, one from Margaret River, or you're having a special bottle of French Champagne or even an interesting dessert wine, I urge you to go to the book because you'll get, at the very least, great ideas, but absolutely terrific recipes that mean that the flavours will be right. And so the enjoyment of the wine and of the wine and food together will be greatly enhanced. Kate Lamont's not just a genius in the kitchen. She's a winemaker. She comes from a sixth generation wine growing family, and she's got an extensive knowledge of wine herself. The thing that's always got me about Lamont family wines is that they're just like the family itself. They're generous and authentic. No doubt in my mind, Lamont Swan Valley is one of the great boutique wineries of Western Australia. Our wine business, uh, we make between eight and 10,000 cases of wine every year. Um, and we focus on buying fruit from the regions where we believe it grows best. So we buy Chardonnay, Semillon Sauvignon Blanc, and Cabernet Sauvignon from Margaret River. 
We grow Shiraz and Vidello in the Swan Valley because we think they're the two varieties that really shine in this warmer region. And we buy terrific Riesling from Mount Barker every year. And we know that Riesling from that cool climate uh, makes the most delicious persistent acidity in wines that uh, means that they just jump out of the glass at you. It's such exciting times for wine and food these days, you know. In Western Australia we have such fantastic ingredients, beautiful seafood, great beef, beautiful lamb, and our seasonality across the breadth of the state means we have fantastic fruit and vegetables all the time. So for the Monts, we know that there'll always be interested consumers curious about the companionship of wine and food, and I'm really confident that we're gonna be there to serve them.